Hey guys, this is Sonar Wave. Uh, I know I said Wall Jack would probably be uh, my next review, but I wasn't expecting to actually get this until maybe later in the week or maybe even next week, um, especially with the way things are. So I was uh, very excited yesterday when I actually uh, arrived much earlier than I was anticipating. And um, this is something very dear and new to me. Uh, this was a big part of my childhood growing up. Uh, like most kids in the 90s, I had, you know, I had, an, had the Nintendo, I had Sega, I had the original Dragon Ball Z, I grew up with the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, but one of my all-time favourite shows when I was very young was The Adventures of Hercules. Uh, Hercules was played, of course, by Kevin Sorbo back then, and um, we were introduced to the character uh, Xena. Warrior Princess, played by the lovely Lucy Lawless, uh, and she was eventually given her own spin off series, which produced six seasons and um, was my childhood. This was my Wonder Woman. She was an idol to me. She taught you that you didn't have to be a skinny girl to be pretty. You didn't have to take anyone's crap and no one could put you down but you. That's what she was teaching when her show was on and I was uh, very sad when it was taken off TV. I was, I think I was in about grade 6 when that happened so that's around the time uh, the Harry Potter books, the first Harry Potter book came to... Uh, us, I was in year six and it was part of the um, class set, so I fell in love with that and grew up with that, but this was from when I was very young. Um, I do have the entire series now. I did have it on DVD. Uh, eventually I converted it and now it's all on my hard drive. I unfortunately don't have all of the um, Adventures of Hercules. Um, perhaps one day I will, but at the moment I don't. Um, but as soon as I knew this existed, I had to get it. Uh, Lucy Lawless did actually come to Australia a few years ago and did Supernova. Um, Unfortunately, I wasn't actually able to go and see her because we just moved up here and it was too close to the time we just moved, so I couldn't organise anything to be able to go down and uh, actually be able to see her. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to meet her in person. But thanks to the absentee packs that you can get, I was actually able to get... A picture of her as in, a, in and an autograph so uh, that made me happy and perhaps one day she'll come back and um, I'll be able to actually meet her because I would love to I would honestly love to uh, and I just absolutely love this pop vinyl they've put great detail in for her boots uh, even up here and the dress, you can see the silver for the connectors. Uh, she's got a chakram, which is from the original half of the series. Um, it wasn't until, might have been season, somewhere in season four or five maybe, that she got the other one I could split in two. I'd have to watch it again to be sure. Um, but yeah, no, I absolutely love the detail and even has the braid in her hair that she pretty much always wore and a trusty sword as well. Um, yeah, I got this off a uh, big bad toy store, actually. Um, and I only 
didn't take very long to get here. But uh, as I said, she was a big part of my childhood and that's something I absolutely loved watching when I was growing up and something I still love watching to this day. I um, obviously now that I'm older I can see a lot of the inconsistencies in the show and uh, how inaccurate a lot of it is but honestly I, I don't care. I really don't. I enjoy it that much that I really don't care. Um, it, it does not bother me in the least. Um, I, I do absolutely love Xena. She was my idol growing up. She was my superhero. And I think I've rambled at you guys enough about this. Um, if you're like me, a child of the 90s, and you loved Xena, I would definitely advise trying to pick this up if you can. It is so worth getting. I was so excited to be able to get this, and I'm very glad that I did. And I can only hope that one day I do actually get to meet the woman who brought Xena to life and uh, was a big inspiration to me as a child. So until the next one, stay safe guys.